Hello, this video will guide you through what a typical Learn Smart assignment is going to be like for your course. You will be accessing most of your Learn Smart assignments through Blackboard. So, your first step should be to log into whatever Blackboard you are. Go into um, Blackboard wherever you have the assignments. This particular class I have pulled up here is an online music appreciation class, um, but it's going to be up to the nature of the class where your Learn Smart assignments will be posted. Uh, but once you locate your Learn Smart assignment, you'll in, you know, notice it's um, got a Learn Smart icon here, and it also has LS before the name of the assignment. And that will also be the case when you look in your gradebook. You also notice that they are called LS too. So once you locate this assignment, you can then click on it, and then it will take you to the Learn Smart assignment. Uh, once you click on it, it will directly uh, take you to Connect. You need not log into Connect. I do provide a Connect link on your Blackboard that you can go to, to Connect directly through. But the problem is sometimes when you log into Connect that way, um, it will list the assignments for you and stuff like that. And students sometimes um, have problems when they complete them in Connect this way. Uh, most of the time, I've not experience any problems with students when they just click on the direct link to them through Blackboard. So once again we're just going to go back to Blackboard here and show you that when you have an assignment posted in Blackboard it's best to just go to wherever that assignment's posted, find the Learn Smart activity and just click on it. Again you need not log into Connect but when you logged in with your Blackboard it automatically logged you into Connect as well. So once you pull up the actual assignment here, and sometimes it will take a few minutes for the smart book to load. It depends on the speed of your internet and also how many students are using uh, that particular smart book. You do need to make sure that you are connected to the internet. So that's uh, an important uh, thing because if you are not connected to the internet, it will not pull up. All right, but once you have this pulled up, and it may look a little different on your screen. Uh, I have an instructor account, so even when I go into a student preview mode like this, I've noticed it doesn't look exactly like the student mode does. And you have different stages of the Learn Smart assignment to do. When I pull it up, it goes into the read mode. And some students, when they pull it up, it has like a review mode that gives you kind of like a preview. It has like the pages and small pictures. And you can just browse over and browse through what the assigned sections are. Now, if it doesn't do that for you or you don't care to do that, you can just click on this main menu over here. This uh, bunch of lines over here, you can break that out and then just click on read to go into read mode. Read mode is probably the one that you're going to be using the most because that's where that's where you're going to actually read the assigned sections. So if you ever forget what the assigned section is, it's usually included in the title. The questions that it's going to give you in your practice mode will only cover uh, this section. So once you pull up the assignment, you're going to read over the assigned pages and you have a few options that you can do while you're reading over the assigned pages. You can, just like a normal textbook, highlight sections. Now there are already highlighted sections which cover material that the author of your textbook definitely has recognized are the most important part. So especially if there is a term that's given or there's a key concept, that is going to be already highlighted. And you'll notice that some of the text here is actually in, it's kind of grayed out. If you ever want to make that more readable, you just click on it. See how when you click on it, it goes gray mode and then it comes back to full text there. So if you really have time to you know read everything, then click on that and read everything. I encourage you to do that at least once, but when you're going back and you're like reviewing and you don't want to read over every single word again, then you can just click on anywhere there's just normal text and it will only leave the important highlighted text. And then you can even click on these little arrows here and it'll take you down to the next highlighted section or listening guide or picture or something like that. So when you're navigating through this, you're going to 
want to take notes you're going to sometimes want to highlight things and make a little note to maybe email me and ask me a question about something that you don't understand so let's say you're reading through here and you get to this part where it says the pitch of a sound is determined by the frequency of its vibrations now I'm gonna be a little silly here but let's say that you don't understand what the word frequency means then you can just highlight it you just click and drag and then you have the option of setting a bookmark doing what we're going to do in this case which is a I don't get it note or just taking normal notes as you would in the margin of your textbook so if you go in here and you click on I don't get it then you can might maybe type in something like uh, define frequency oops if I can type right <laughs> and then you click on save or you can click on cancel if you decide you don't want to do it and now every time you pull up your smart book it doesn't matter what computer you're on as long as you're on your account it will now have that there well let's say that you find out what the definition of that is and you no longer need this well you can either go back in and edit it or you can delete it and of course you can highlight entire sections if you want to and bookmark them if you want to you can enter a comment about it if you want to um, so you can personalize your smart book and highlight sections write little comments you know if you see this section right here and you want to say oh this kind of reminds me of that sound of music song um, doe a deer a female deer stuff like that then you might want to put a little note here um, see sound of music song or something like that and that would be exactly just like writing a note in the margin of your textbook except in this case you can actually remove it and write as much as you want there's no limitation by the size of the margin all right so once you're done reading through all the material that's assigned and you feel confident that you understood everything you read you're then going to go into what's called practice mode practice mode will give you a series of questions like you see here and you'll notice that you answer them with these different colored answers down here uh, there's all kinds of questions that it will ask you um, the point is to answer these as honestly as possible because you will not be graded on whether or not you get them correct or incorrect you will only be graded on whether or not you answer all the questions now if you do get a question incorrect or you answer that you're kind of you know guessing or you're shooting in the dark it is going to probably reshuffle that question and it probably will extend the amount of time that it takes to complete the assignment but again keep in mind our goal here is not so much to get a good grade as it is to comprehend the material if you comprehend the material you're going to do better in the class because college classes build upon learned material so if you don't understand what we cover in week one you're not going to do well in week two or three or four so the overall goal here is not just to do well in the class grade wise but to build upon our knowledge and we're going to talk in a second how learn smart can even help you with that all right so it says which of the following are the main properties of musical sounds and it says check all that apply well let's say that you've read through the material and you honestly cannot remember what the answer of this is so you're just going to click on here and you're just guessing so you're going to click on no idea so not only is it going to tell you what the correct answers are but you will have the option to read about this and what that's going to do is going to take you directly to every part of that question that it it is covering in the question so that way you have the option of going and actually seeing what the question is about in the part of your textbook that it covers it all right so once you click OK it then takes you to the next question what is the relative highness or lowness of a sound called well in this case I know it's pitch because I read the textbook and I've been teaching a class for over a decade so yeah, I'm gonna go in here and click I know it you can see I definitely got it right and what it's gonna do now is that section of the textbook is not going to be 
highlighted for me anymore. It's not going to be part of the uh, overview of the, of the textbook because I've demonstrated that I ha have an understanding knowledge of that. This is why you do not want to lie on these questions because it really can mess up how your smart book is presented to you when you go to study. Now, once again, we're going to, I'm just going to randomly check on things here. Um, and I'm going to answer, I think so, I'm not quite sure. Well, it, it tells me that I actually missed out on some of these, so I can, again, go there and read about the section. It's going to take me to uh, the section of textbook that that covers. And not only that, but it's going to remember that I didn't get all of that question correct, and it's going to adjust the smart book so that it I can better study for that next time I go back into read mode. So once you go back into read mode, you should notice that the section looks a little different. There will be different sections that are highlighted, different sections that are grayed out, and you can see now we have some green highlight. Green highlight means yes, you got that right, and so it's not part of the yellow highlighted section anymore. And notice that when I'm, you know, going to the next section, it skips over it. So that means yes, you got it. You did well. So, so um, that's how you know it's no longer stuff you need to study. Uh, ideally, you would want to get your entire section all green. That's when you know you've done really well. All right, so that's a basic overview of how this works. Uh, there's a few other things you can do that are not required, but that you may want to take a look at. One of those is recharge. After you've completed the assignment, you will get 100. You should confirm that you have 100 in your gradebook in Blackboard. Once that 100 is locked in and you've completed your Learn Smart assignment, you will have that grade for the rest of the semester. But let's say you're getting ready to take the quiz on this section and you want to go back and restudy using the same method. Well, then you can always click on Recharge and it will reset it for you. It does not reset your grade, though. Your grade of 100, again, is locked in. It doesn't go away. So don't be afraid to use the Recharge to go back and restudy. You also have the My Reports section where it will actually give you a series of options that you can choose from here uh, that will tell you more about how you're learning the material in the course. So play around with these, check them out. I really like also the tree of knowledge. Now mine looks a little funny because I'm an instructor and <laughs> I, I don't do all the assignments of course that I assign but um, you can actually click on this and ideally when you master everything this is what your tree should look like. Um, and of course if you complete all the assignments on a regular basis this tree will begin to grow and by the end of the class you will have the full tree. Um, and you can always go into the tree and see which sections maybe you, you have branches that don't have a lot of leaves on them maybe you need to go back and review that you can uh, play around with this and I think that you will find that they are useful learning tools I find that students that manage themselves and don't need an instructor breathing down their neck to show them how they're doing in class they generally they take ownership of their grade they, they they're more invested when they have tools like this where they can see exactly what they need to work on because uh, I think a lot of times students they they know that they need to work on something in the class to improve their grade but they're not sure exactly what areas they're failing in so learn smart is a terrific tool to help you hone in on those key concepts and terms and things like that that you need to go back and review. If you have any other questions about this, please contact me. I think it's a very easy to use interface and I think you'll enjoy it a lot. So don't be afraid to play around with it. I don't think there's anything in Learn Smart you can click on and like totally mess up your grade or nothing. Play around with it. It's a tool. You're only going to get good at using it if you actually use it.